Hello, it is Friday, January 20th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Friday puzzle today, so a themeless puzzle, a themeless debut construction, in fact. And this themeless debut edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Quotidia File, Overfull Hitbox, Joseph Schwalbach, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, for their generous support in bringing us this edition, this series, this um, channel. Uh, they do keep it sustainable. So thank you so much to those five benefactors and to all benefactors of the Patreon channel. And if you'd like to join their ranks and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in a link in the description field underneath the video. And of course, thank you as well to all of my patrons at any level who support this channel. You can become one of them as well at that same link. And in doing so, you'll get access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week. And today there is a do another edition of the daily of the um, weekly mini puzzle speed solve. So I'll get on to that shortly as well and look forward to it if you're a patron. Um, also, please do subscribe to the YouTube channel if you've not done that, if you're new to the channel or if you've, if you're not new and you just haven't yet subscribed, please do. Thank you to everyone who has and, uh, you know, like the videos, comment on them, all those sorts of things. And uh, with all that said, shall we get on to today's puzzle? Let's do that. This is, as I mentioned, the first puzzle by Robert S. Greenfield. It uh, It's a themeless puzzle, presumably, because it is being published on a Friday, and it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving, shall we? It can cover all the bases. Um, I don't know. I mean, this could be base referring to the pH scale, maybe. I'm not sure. Rocks out? Question mark. It makes me wonder if this has something to do with the sort of mineral deposits or something like that because of the, the question mark indicating a bit of punnery or wordplay. Picks could be opts, maybe. I'm not sure. Things a better, better know. Right. The be a better, better know the odds. If you're betting, it would be good to know the odds. A cork or a lepton is a particle. Does that work here? Choice in a slumber party game. Right. Truth or dare. It's the kind of game you might play if you're sleeping over at someone's house in your, I don't know, teen years. Uh-huh, you said it. True that, maybe? It's a kind of colloquial phrase that looks plausible. Promising reply. I, I do. Right, you're making a promise in reply at the altar, for instance, in a, in a, a wedding ceremony. Okay, motion detector is a sensor. There we go. All right, so we've we've broken into this Friday puzzle relatively straightforwardly in this northeast corner over here. Let's see if that continues. Organization with a strong track record. Ah, this probably refers to um, uh, an automobile racetrack. So NASCAR. The is it is it stock cars? Is that NAS I think this is what NASCAR is. Um, okay, letters that shouldn't be written big. For air rescue, a single V or X is best. Oh, that's interesting. SOS. So if you, if you ever find yourself uh, stranded on a desert island, don't bother assembling enough, I don't know, rocks or shells or whatever to spell out SOS. Just a big V or X. That makes sense. It's, it's, it's sort of wasteful to, to, to go for the whole SOS. Take off in a hurry to bolt, to leave quickly. Comebacks are riposts. There we go, a reply, a retort, a repost. And that could work. You, hmm, not sure. Easily attached in a way. Clip on, as in a clip on tie, it's easily attached. And C, something it, got it, get it. Rocks and hmm, not sure. It doesn't really work very well there. Let's try this. One using a bib, maybe a tot, a child, a, a, a toddler, maybe a baby. That could work. Hmm. Not a bad idea. There we go. That wasn't a bad idea. Not a bad idea. That could work, you might say. Apologetic comment from a dinner guest. I've looks like I've got to run or something. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with this IND. Pick up and run or something, maybe? C, 
snap on maybe maybe not maybe not clip on but snap on that would actually work that would work better with the the rocks out okay so hmm I'm still I'm still not exactly sure what this is but it looks more plausible oh Tom Hagen is the consigliere character in The Godfather um, played by Robert Duvall I think and C get it there we go that worked out. Petri dish medium agar. Oh, that's funny. That was in the puzzle just the other day. And the there was a scientist who commented that he was pleased to see it being referenced in a scientific rather than culinary context. Okay, rocks out crags. A crag juts out from um, you know, a, a cliff or something. So it's so it it's out. Hip hop duo blank srummer that looks like drummers backwards. Um, I don't know if that's helping me though. Ear, ear drummers backwards. There we go. <laughs> Ray Stremmerd. I think that must be it. I've never, I've never heard of that duo, but I suspect that is the answer. Ear drummers, obviously a pun. Okay. So does that work with this apologetic comment from a dinner guest? Guest. I have to eat and run. I'm uh, sorry to eat and run now. Hmm, I'm not sure. Chinese takeout staple. Chow mein. There we go. That's kind of a classic of uh, sort of, you know, westernized Chinese food. Um, uh, something to, oh, sorry to eat and run, but uh, everything I'm thinking of is one letter too many. Hate to eat and run. Penny candy morsel since 1907. No idea. Lined up in a row. Hummus ingredient. Uh, tahini. Yeah, hummus is primarily chickpeas, but but generally also has tahini and different hummus ingredients will have different different amounts. Um, some hummus goes really heavy on the tahini and is very smooth. Okay, it can cover all the bases. Oh, a tarp maybe. Maybe you, you'd lay tarpaulin over a baseball diamond in between games. I wonder if that's what this is This is referring to. I bet it is. On the safe side at sea, you're on the lee side. You're a lee on the sheltered so side, sheltered from the wind. So friends and family support group, that's Al-Anon. So sort of, it's sort of a contraction of Alcoholics Anonymous, but as been pointed out to me, it doesn't itself actually refer to Alcoholics Anonymous. It refers to the support group for those participating in Alcoholics Anonymous, so Al-Anon, a different different thing, but but obviously, obviously related, and the name derived from it. Okay, don't forget. Recall. If you don't forget something, you recall it. Uh, that's a that's a fun sort of slightly slightly punny clue, but 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 not actually a pun, but it sort of just feels like one. Public house. Oh, maybe this isn't recall. Never mind. <laughs> After all that, uh, public house is an inn, a pub. Um, a tavern. Don't forget. If you don't forget, you regain, you retain. Right. Okay. Same thing. The same. My, my same thought applies. It's a bit of a pun in that it sounds like "don't forget." It sounds like a sort of statement you'd you'd say to someone, an exclamation. But it's not. In this case, it's actually just a synonym of the literal words "don't forget." Okay. Oh, okay. So it is, it is hate to eat and run. That was one of my, one of my many, many guesses. Um, so there we go. Hate to eat and run. Apologetic comment from a dinner guest. Fair enough. Jury members are peers and foul smelling is noisome. Does that work here? Penny candle. What is, what is this? Penny candy morsel since 1907. I wonder if I'll recognize this. Oh, a Tootsie Roll maybe. Or yeah, that works. Right. Okay. So the sort of, what are those exactly? They're kind of little chocolate, very chewy. What I wonder, is that, does that substance have a specific name? Does it exist in other things? I'm trying to think. I don't know. It's almost like toffee or something, but softer and obviously flavored with chocolate. Anyway, why is it a penny? Does it cost a penny? I have no idea. Okay. Blank support, tech support. 
splashy display, an e card maybe? Don't know. Feels too vague to go straight to that. Grain stores are silos. You could have a farm with big grain silos. Oh, eclat, splashy display. So eclat meaning, uh, you know, pizzazz essentially. Um, uh, eclat being a loan word from French. And then go along for the ride to hop on, to go along for the ride say. So that say means this is sort of an example of that thing. So hopping on is kind of an example of going along for the ride. It doesn't li- to hop on doesn't literally mean to go along for the ride, but they're sort of associated concepts and one is sort of an example of the other. So that's what that say is doing. Okay, neologize. So to coin a phrase, oh right, okay, just to coin a phrase. I was saying coin a phrase because I was just giving an example of what, you know, sort of explaining what neologize means to, to, to uh, create uh, neologism, but uh, that turned out to be the answer. Okay, dejection is a famous one. An ode? Ode to, deje- to dejection? Do I know that? I don't know. Maybe I would if I saw it written out. In any case, the ode is, of course, the official poetic phrase of the New York Times crossword. And this has been a week of official <laughs> official answers. We had Ono and Eno and all sorts of other common ones. A message from the Pentagon might be in this. It might be encrypted. It might be in code. Part for a balding man. Hmm, a part. So the question mark makes me wonder if a part is some, is not a, a role in a film, which is what this sort of looks like it would be, but maybe rather a physical object, so a toupee or a wig or something. I'm not sure. Smartphone at times. Crystal, oh, crystal object featured in Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi, the most expensive painting ever sold. Right. This is that painting that was auctioned just just several years ago, and there was quite a lot of debate about its authorship, uh, whether it was in fact a Leonardo. And I think the I think the consensus was broadly that it is, or that it was a collaborate. You know, as as many paintings were, were of that of that sort, a collaboration between Leonardo and possibly members of his studio. But I think, I think if I recall that broadly speaking, people thought it to be a genuine Leonardo, but there were some pretty high profile dissenters. So I remember it was a big deal because it was so expensive. Anyway, uh, uh, Jesus is holding a glass orb in that. So there we go. Uh, part for, oh, comb over. Right, I see. I see what this means. A part meaning a literal parting of the hair. That should have occurred to me. That that would also be one of the the pun possibilities. So a comb over to 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 co- to brush the hair over the, the bald spot. All right, a party or an a party or two party. And of course, a party can have a number of meanings because it could be a do, it could be a shindig, or it could be a, a group of people. Or a political party, I suppose, something more organized. Can I not think of what any of those would be? Smartphone at times. Hmm. Get close is to go near. It seems a little bit too straightforward. I'm not sure. Best-selling Israeli author of *Sapiens: A Brief History of Humankind*. Right. Okay. I've not read this, but. Harari is his surname. Uh, you, Yuval Noah Harari? I think that's, I think that's his name. I'm going to need to check these crosses because I could be getting some element of this wrong. Uh, get close. Party. Screen. Not obviously coming to any conclusions here. Grounds for a fight. And appendectomy sites in brief. ORs, operating rooms. So an appendectomy when one removes the appendix. Grounds for a fight. Oh, arenas. You could have a a, a fight in an, in, arena, in an arena, you know, a boxing match or something. A real bore is a snore. That person's a real snore. Bicker is to argue perhaps after grounds for a fight. B lines, question mark, 
speed line sewing a sewing b uh hmm, not sure it doesn't the w doesn't look like it fits it's a long story a saga is a long story and what many air conditioners do they hum they make a, a sound b lines oh seams right okay so it, it was a sewing b or a quilting b maybe you, you um you sew a seam okay so the noah bit that was the bit the no Harari I'm very confident about. I think you've all, but I'm not 100% certain. Goes over again, rehashes. There we go. Let's keep, let's fill this out. Unimaginative is, oh, tired. Maybe hop on is hop in. Fair enough. That's the same concept. Play a mean guitar slangly. That person really shreds on guitar, you could say. And orange soda brand, which um, <laughs> is knee high, as I know from my commenters. I think I... I, I don't think I've ever encountered this soda in the wild previously. So I think the first few times I pronounced it on this series, I called it Nehi, I think, but it was it was confirmed to me it was in, it, it should be pronounced Nehi. So thank you for that. One purchasing cigars, maybe. Dad, Dad's pal or something. I've done, it's a, a very strange answer. I don't think that I don't think that's the answer. Some bakers wares. And two blank, many sports cars, a two-seater, a coupe. Okay, retro phone type. A rotary phone, right? The sort that uh, you dial by, uh, as the name suggests, rotating a disc around so that the number is, uh, intended number is aligned with the uh, sort of indicator. Remember my grandmother had those in her home when I was growing up. Word with tie or fly. Rip tie? No, rip fly isn't anything. Fly rod, tie rod, and fly rod. Those are both those are both things. There we go. Wuthering Heights actress Merle. I don't know. Hmm. I've read Wuthering Heights and I've seen at least one adaptation of it. I think just one, and I don't think it was this one. I don't know. Maybe it was. I, I don't remember this person. Insult is derived to deride somebody. Put one's foot down is to trod on the ground. Or if you, you, you did, sorry, you did put one's foot down, you did trod. So it's in the past. Tread would be present. Um, so let's see, does this, okay, this isn't ringing a bell. New Year's Eve song word, uh, sign, old Lang sign. And some bakers wears are what are they what do bakers use why can i not immediately see this dad why can't i see any of these oberon merle oberon one purchasing cigars maybe this is so strange that i can't seem to get these um some baker. Oh, it's wares as in the thing that the baker produces and sells. I was thinking for some reason it was sort of tools used in, in baking, but that's not really what you mean when you say wares. You say, yeah, you're plying your wares, you're selling your goods. So uh, tarts. So, oh, dad to be? Is that a tradition? Is that a thing? I don't think I know what that means. One purchasing cigars, maybe. Dad to be. Why is that? I don't know. I'm, so, I'm sure that's blindingly obvious, but I'm not sure offhand. But I think I just can't think of what else this would be. And Oberon is a name, so I'm going to put that in. We'll remember that that's, that was an area of weakness if the puzzle doesn't validate. Screen. Okay, right. We have to finish this off. A Swiss army knife has many uses. There we go. Extra. Um, supplementary more. Extra more, maybe. Get close. Yeah, that doesn't look very, very good. This does look like up. Get close. Oh, cozy to cozy up to someone is to get close to them. So extra is a part in a play, an extra? That doesn't really match. This looks like camera. Yes, a smartphone at, at times is a camera. Can't believe I didn't think of that earlier. To party is to carouse. There we go. So it's party as a verb. Extra is... What is this? What helps you see the big picture? Oh, zoom lens. Oh, cozy. Oh, sorry. I was... Spelling this the British way. So cozy, I'm sorry, it's cozy with a C. Um, what helps you see the big picture is a zoom. Yeah, a zoom, that's right. And that's that's what made me change that. Okay, great. So screen is a mesh. Oh, maybe it's 
Juve, Juve no Harari. There we go. That's better. So a screen is a mesh. I should have I should have deleted these letters because I knew I was. These were the ones about which I was least certain. Uh, and then I oh know that doesn't look right. P E R H. What am I miss? Oh no. P E R H. Does that somehow mean extra? The rest of this looks okay. Screen. No, 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 no. Well, I was right the first time. It was Yuva. Oh, sorry. Yuval. Yuval. Right. Yuval. I, okay. That. Did I just not pronounce the, the L for some reason? That was strange. No, yeah, okay. I, I don't know what was going on there. Anyway, to screen is to mask, as in uh, to uh, obscure something. Poss you know, different ways of using that, but that's one of them. And an extra would be a perk. So a, a job, you know, an extra at your job, a perk of your, of your job. And there we go. That was an interesting solve in that it started off, I think, just the way that I happened to, to, to move through the grid. It started off relatively approachable. And I got this whole little corner of the grid. And I think things came from that pretty easily. We moved into here, got this coin of phrase, which was a nice long thing. And then as I as I finished off this this opposite end of the puzzle, um, I just slowed down quite a bit. So that was an interesting uh, an interesting curve, an interesting gradient of of challenge there. Let me know how you fared with this one. Um, I think there were probably this probably has a bit of a range of difficulty. Maybe um, it's funny how long this one took me. Hate to eat and run. You know. Uh, anyway, right. So there we go. That was a debut puzzle. I think that was a solid Friday puzzle. Maybe for me, just a, a tad more difficult than the average Friday puzzle. But again, that really is different for everybody. So I'm, I'm always curious to hear what you think. I'll check. I'm going to go check out the Daily Solve Discord chat server as soon as I'm done um, recording this because I because I want to know. I've become incredibly interested in this for some reason. Uh, so I, I'm, I'm, every day I'm very curious. And uh, but there we go. So. Uh, as I say, maybe a slight, a slightly tougher Friday than usual, but often I say that and it ends up uh, being true for nobody but me. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know. Uh, prove me right or wrong. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow for the Saturday puzzle, another themeless puzzle. And uh, do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm -hmm.